Hi folks, my name is Jay Emerlins and I'm a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG and a specialist in the ARIS platform. And today we're doing another in our video series called Help, I'm an ARIS admin. Setting up your first ARIS project or instance, getting everything right, and making it easy for your users to get what they need out of the ARIS platform. Now today's topic is gonna to be talking a little bit about simple what you see is what you get report creation. How can we get information out of the ARIS platform really easily and quickly with our WYSIWYG editor? Um, I've covered this, the sort of basic WYSIWYG report creation in the past, um, but this is one where I want to focus on a specific report that I find particularly relevant, useful, um, and we're going to use it on, our, on a demonstration database full of content that we can extract. So with no further ado, let's head over to ARIS Architect, where we might find this information um, and be able to use it for uh, reporting. So in my United Motor Group database, which is our demonstration database we use for a lot of things, we've got a whole process hierarchy. So it starts up here at our process architecture, goes through the core management and support processes. It's got a hierarchy of content. You might remember this idea of hierarchy um, and what we do. I want to extract that um, as something that I can see and share and maybe even use um, so that I can quickly and easily uh, pull that information into somewhere else or I can you know, build it out for people who need to see it um, in other business groups who might not have access to ARIS. I want to sort of drill through the layers of this process uh, hierarchy and be able to extract that information in, in a flat file content. Okay, that sounds good to me. So I know what the, what the, what the formats are of these models. They're value-added chain diagrams. Um, and the underneath those are value-added chain diagrams. Um, so that's the level two. And then underneath those, the final level is value-added chain diagrams. So sort of a three-level structure that we're looking at. Um, and at the end, we don't, we, we don't really want to extract the, the content from our process models. We just want to get this structure at a high level out. So how do we do that? Well, let's run a report. But first, we have to write the report. So I'm going to go to the administration module and go into our evaluations area. So once again, you're going to need special permission here. You're going to need that functional privilege of script administrator. And then we're going to go into reports. And you see there's lots of reports available um, already out of the box when some of these are useful for things like uh, Visio import, which we've talked about. Um, and I'm going to create a new report. So I can either create a new category like custom reports. So I'm just going to add this to my standard reports, something that's pretty handy. I'll right click and say create new report. As a note, you can export and import scripts um, as .arx files, which is pretty handy. Um, and that, that's something you can use later. So I'm going to call this my business um, process hierarchy report. And what this is going to be um, is this is going to be a report that extracts um, domains processes, uh, uh, scenarios, and processes, the org. Um, and that's something that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a name. Also, as a note, there's a bunch of different checkboxes here. I'm going to make this available to also run an ARIS Connect. By the way, I was just unclicking available to users until you're ready to go with your report. Um, and then the context I'm going to run this on is I'm going to run this on a model, selecting none. And I happen to know the one that I'm running it on is a value-added chain diagram. That's what we looked at a little bit earlier. And lastly, I'm going to say I want to use default. Um, so I'm going to use a blank template on that. That gives me a few more options. And I'm just going to extract this as a, as a Excel workbook. Something that's really easy to work with because um, I, I want to, uh, to get it in you know, pulling out the content from my models. So it's a pretty handy um, thing. This one doesn't really matter because we're not really uh, pushing it. By the way, you can also, uh, you can also choose which access uh, to which user group. Um, so some, some reports might, might, may or may not be uh, available to users and user groups depending on who they are. So it's super handy to have that. So next I'm going to create this simple report. So uh, there's, there's two sides to this, this uh, WYSIWYG report editor. The left side is where am I? The right side is what am I looking for while I'm there? So right now it's saying for selected models, what do I, where, where am I? Okay, I'm on this model. I, I want to get a list uh, on this model of all of the objects on it. Okay, so insert a query here. So inserting query is how I, I find information on it. I could give this a, a report header. I could do whatever I want. You know, this, this is a static area. Something that's not repeated every time I have a, a selected model. But because I'm only going to run this on one model, it's not really relevant. I'm just running it on my enterprise process map. Um, so underneath that, I'm looking for 
the value added chain objects. Um, I happen to know they're all functions. That's the object type. Once again, if you remember from the method or method filter, that's the, the type of uh, object that I'm, I'm reporting it on. So I'm going to right click and choose insert query and find all my, for all my objects that are on the model, filter by, by type. So I'm going to say, I want to find, so you hit this little forward button, it says the data for the repetition. This is going to be what's repeated every time this runs. So it's going to find, it's going to run as many times as it finds object occurrences. And I'm going to find functions. You can type in to sort of have it uh, narrow down. And I'm going to filter those functions just by their, uh, the object name. So it's alphabetically. So now it's created the second area for all my selected models. Find me all my object occurrences filtered by type. So now I'm going to say, okay, I, I want a, a three-level structure. It's going to go. It's going to go domain, scenario, process. So now I'm I'm going to create uh, the. I'm actually going to create the beginnings of it at the very top. I only want this once. So I'm going to insert a formatting table with uh, three columns and, and no rows. So it's going to say this is the domain. This is my scenario. Process. And so for all of these, now I'm going to add that three, uh, sort of three section uh, format, because that's going to go into my Excel file as sort of three different columns. So let's find all those object occurrences and let's insert that, uh, that formatting table again. Once again, one row, three columns, it's going to match up perfectly. And now you see in the models, we're finding all the object occurrences. All those object occurrences should be the domains. So I'm going to right click and insert a data field. So on the left side, where am I? I'm on the object occurrences. On the right side, what am I going to do there? I'm going to find the name. Hit finish. And there we are, ready to go. I'm going to click at the end. And we're going to go one layer deeper because we want to find all everything that's assigned to that and all the names of those objects underneath it. So let's insert a query again. So we're nesting these queries. Note that it's going to start my query on all the objects. Underneath that, I want to find that object's definition and what it's assigned to. And then on those assigned models, I can just keep drilling through. I want to find all the object occurrences filtered by type. So you see I'm going a couple layers deep. You can use these downward arrows to help you get there. So now what am I doing? I'm going, so you can just read this. Selected models, my value added chain diagrams, finding my functions their definition, and the models are assigned to, which should be um, uh, of a type I can select. And then once I'm there, finding all those objects, filtering them by type. So I'm going to say I'm looking for value added chain diagrams. And when I'm there, I'm looking for all the functions. Once again, filtering by object name. And you might, it might see it's now, I'm going to insert another formatting table here once again one row, three columns, boom. And now under scenario, I'm going to insert that data field because on the left side, where am I? I'm at the object level. On the right side, what do I want to do there? Get the name. And we're going to do that one last time to get down to the process level. So query it again. We're going to do that one more time. So the we're looking for the definition, sign models, filter by type object occurrences. One more to look at the evaluated chain diagram and the functions contained within. Let's say here's my object name. Finish it again. One more formatting table. And here we are with our data field. And that should be name. And now we've got a draft report. Well, let's hit save. And now we can start testing it out. You don't have to put it in production yet. You can actually go run. Let's run this, this report. See what it kicks out. So make sure you go over here, go to my process, architecture, enterprise process map. And I'll put it in my downloads just to see what it kicks out. Um, see, so at the, at the top, you see the static area is only going to happen once at the very top. Under each repetition, that static area would be repeated. So you notice, notice now, this only happens once. And then under each one of these, I get my nice structure from top to bottom. That's, that's pretty handy. Um, 
And so now I've got and I've everything I, I need, everything I want to be able to kick this out and get it ready to go. So that's simple report creation. Took a couple of seconds and you're ready to go. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Jay Amarillinson, um, and we're doing more and more of these videos. So please leave a like, share, comment, or feedback. Um, but this is the, the quickest way to get it. Now you've got your report ready to go, and you've, you've been able to get back to your uh, project manager with the business process master list or something like that. Note that you can bring lots more attributes in, get more value, but you're equipped to get started with this very first task as an ARIS administrator. We'll see you in the next videos, and thanks so much for your time.